Awe, how's it? Welcome and thank you if you're checking us out for the first time. I'm Marcus Fox, a licensed installation electrician operating in Cape Town, South Africa. In this video, I'm just going to briefly go over the scene settings for the Sonoff load shedding detector within the EWILINK app. So let's go. Okay, here we go. So, so I've got my test rig here. I've got the Sonoff smart switch. This is a Wi-Fi and RF. So you can get a, a Sonoff remote control and switch this thing remotely, manually, if you want. Um, this is the Sonoff Mini version 1 external antenna. The new version has the antenna built in. So when you stick it behind a switch or wherever, um, this little antenna doesn't get in the way. But I think it does the same thing. And this is my switch representing my relay or contact or yeah my dry contact basically so when the power is on your inverter right your load is on right your washing machine tumble dryer dishwasher whatever big load you've got bearing in mind this could also be your geezer uh heat pump swimming pool pump because this specific switch can handle a maximum of 10 amps so you do get a a power monitor that does this is the POWR 316 max max capacity of 16 amps and there's also a 20 amp version so if you do want to hook up your your geezer right you can you can do that and the benefit of this is you can monitor your power live and you can log the power consumption over time that, so that's that's a cool thing to have we can talk about this the specific unit a bit later but yeah so so basically this is your setup for load management on your backed up circuits your inverter circuits and that so basically powers on now when it's load shedding your load drops out and then but everything stays on so so your router and everything that's backed up back to back with your washing machine and that stays on it's just the the, the the load you don't want on the non-essential load that drops out so we're going to look at the scene settings within the ewlink app for this okay so now we're in the ewlink app and this is sonos app um, basically monitoring and configuring your your devices so i've got the mini test switch over here and then i've got the rf which is where my load is connected to where the lamp is connected to so it's that one and that one over there right so when i go to scenes or first we have a look at if i physically switch on the contact then it will switch on the, the mini which will in turn switch on the test switch right so that's if you go to scenes we look at the settings so what i've got basically i've got load shedding detector on load shedding detector off so load shedding detector on as when normal veins is available everything's cool um inverters running in bypass mode power is feeding the load you're not running off the battery so your load's connected and then obviously load shedding detector off as when there's load shedding so we look at load shedding detector off so basically if the contact is open and the mini test which is off it will drop out the the load that's connected to the wi-fi switch and then the same if we go to load shedding detector on if the power is on then it will switch on the the wi-fi switch where your load is connected to so i'm sure this will be useful for for situations where you do have um circuits backed up circuits um you've got essential items and you've got non-essential items but these non-essential items you don't really want to run off the batteries because it's going to drain your batteries too fast then this 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 could be useful for that situations and also you son of does have a, a a a smart plug basically where you don't have to have wires and stuff you can just plug this plug into your socket outlet and plug your appliance into the into the smart plug and you can have the same setup within the in the scenes for to to, to handle that that specific appliance that you're plugging in there and that's basically it.